Okay, we are going to do a very quick outline on HTML and CSS. Remember that this does not replace your in-class lesson, but rather is a refresher for your in-class information. To start, we're going to take a quick look at some of the jargon. One of them is HTML or Hypertext Markup Language. That is the code that sits behind all of your web pages. CSS is Cascading Style Sheet, and that formats how those content pieces look. URL is the formal word for a universal resource locator, or basically a web page. That's how we would commonly think of a URL. There are certain elements within a page of HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, but the two big areas we can divide our page up into is our head and our body. And much like the human head and body, a lot of things happen inside the head that we don't necessarily see, but certainly our appearance or our outer appearance is displayed within our body. So these are the things that we want to take a look at as we're getting into HTML. Understanding that there are certain pieces that go into our head area, and there are certain pieces that go into our body area. Now, all of these HTML pieces are composed of tags, and there are certain tags that go into the head area, and there are certain tags that go into the body area. And in our particular case, I want to point out here that all of these tags are written by these less than and greater than symbols. And tags come in pairs. They both open and close. So that if I have an HTML tag at the top of my page, I would have the same tag at the bottom, but with a forward slash. That indicates that it's closing. Similar here in terms of the head, the head is sandwiched between the HTML open and close, but it also opens and it closes inside the head. One of the tags that we would commonly find is the title tag, and here it opens and here it closes. Similar, we would find style tags up here. In our body tag, we have a series of different types of things that go in here, but all the same concept. Here the tag opens, this is a paragraph tag, and here the tag closes. Now, you're going to drop out and try this back in PowerPoint. And we're going to move forward here within our, our lecture piece. The understanding that you need to uh, kind of wrap your head around is that there are certain tags that are HTML tags. Common ones include the paragraph, the H1 heading 1, H2, etc. The CSS styles, here you can see that this one is the word banner. Well, I made the word banner up. The beauty of CSS styles is that you can name them anything you want. The difference is that HTML tags, there are a certain limited number of those tags, and they govern things that are well-defined on the page already. However, perhaps if you had, say, a paragraph over here, you're going to give a definition to that paragraph as an HTML tag. But what if you wanted something very, very different? And maybe it was composed of a paragraph, but maybe it wasn't. Over here under our CSS styles, we have to have the option to make our own styles and call them anything we want. So we have far more flexibility over here. For example, if I have a series of um, vocabulary words that I wanted a particular style, perhaps highlighted in yellow and the words are bolded in a specific font. I could make up a style exclusively for that thought. Even though it would normally be part of a paragraph, now I can give a specific style to that. Now where do you find this here in Dreamweaver? In Dreamweaver we have down here on our property inspector both an HTML and a CSS panel. And those are the two areas that we will be playing with back and forth. In addition, all of these tags and styles are manipulated through our CSS panel over here on the right hand side. So a close-up of our property inspector, here we can see the close-up HTML and CSS, we can 
switch between the two by simply clicking on them, and a close-up of our CSS panel. Here's a sample of an H1 tag in our CSS area. And notice here the properties for each one. Currently, the font size is set at extra, extra large. But I can also go ahead and edit and add other properties to that. Similarly, I could take these other CSS styles, add them to my style sheet, and then go ahead and manipulate the different styles there as well. The beauty of CSS is that it separates style from content, meaning that your content is your information that is sent out to your public, but your CSS is how that content looks. Overall, it makes the maintenance of the site much easier. It improves and increases site accessibility for users with alternate browsers, and it enables you to keep your site current simply because you have less maintenance to do in the long run. And that's it for the moment. We're going to jump back into our lessons and actually apply that information.